Hi there, Amber here with Night Owl Collage. I'm back after a little bit of a break. Um, I was ill and then I took a little out of town trip to kind of refresh and get some inspiration and have some quiet time. And then I got back and I got sick again. And I'm still a little bit sick. I'm filming this on Monday. I don't know when I'm gonna have the energy to edit this and put it up, but I'm gonna try to do it quickly. Um, Cause I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, kind of easing, easing back in. And I've got like design team projects to get done and um, I don't wanna keep you guys waiting too long. But um, first let me just start off with last week. If you haven't grabbed it yet, if you're in the uh, Wise Owl membership, these were the freebies for last week and there was six pages. So um, they're like these pumpkin patch with little foxes. So we've got four of these journaling pages. And if you don't like the foxes or anything, you can just like kind of cut that off and use these bits of the pages that you do like. So um, we've got this one, which is my favorite one. And then we've got uh, this one with, it's more, he's got a like little book. And I love this kind of paint splatter sky on this one. And then this guy, he looks, he's just a little sassy, isn't he? I like him, he's really cute. And then, um, see, that would be like just a good scene right there. I like that, I think it's really cute. Um, so. I also made you some journal cards with um, some more of the fox images that I had available. And um, if you didn't like the foxes, then I had um, just some pumpkin patch uh, images for you on journal cards. So um, tried to make it uh, something like everyone could use. So go grab those six pages. Um, if you haven't, uh, join the Wise Owl membership yet. It's just $3 a month and you get um, exclusive freebies every week. And um, sometimes they're like just two pages. Sometimes they're up to like six pages. So um, it just depends on like how much time I have, how inspired I am by what I found and those kinds of things. Um, so um, you also get a 10% discount on all shop items. And then I have for this week, I have like, I went with like a pink theme. I don't have foxes this week, but I went with like more of a pink pumpkin patch. There's four journal pages in this one. Um, I actually have three here. This one has a little bit more orange and brown in it. Um, and then this was the second one I did, and this one is more pink. It has a lot more pink and a little bit, it kind of goes, leans into a little purplish. And then this one I have two versions of. So we have this like background image here on this one. The second version doesn't have that background image. It just, it's more of a plain middle background. So there's, it, these are the same images, but just that's a little bit different. So go grab those. If you haven't grabbed those already and um we're up to nine members trying to get up to 25 so we can do the giveaway um so keep spreading the word and hopefully we'll get up there soon so grab your freebies lots of freebies this month okay so today i'm doing a design team project for the happy handicrafter for this halloween um this Halloween kit. The kit is called Witchy Halloween Apothecary, um, and I'll put the link to the kit um, down in the description box below. So, um, <laughs> this is like this is all sort of like I'm a little bit under the weather and a lot disorganized, so just bear with me. So, I'll show you some of the pages, and then I will show you what we're going to be making with this. And even though we're going to be using this kit. Um, first for the um, design team project I'm doing. I'm also going to do another version using a different kit by the Happy Handy Crafter that is just a fall themed kit for those of you who do not celebrate Halloween, do not like Halloween, 
totally understand that and I have a different version for you guys. So you can skip ahead to that part or um, just keep watching and we'll get over to that after we are done with this one. So um, we've got, of course, uh, cats. I love cats. So I love this one. It's got uh, a few of these pages have these frames, which I think is really nice. Um, see, see how disorganized I am here. So I've got some uh, fussy cuts. Um, these are some of the tags. There's like these little tickets. Um, journal cards. And there's another journal card. And these are just like scraps of papers that I've been working with. So we've got um, some like witchy characters and some candles. Faux washi. Got some faux washi here. Some creepy jack-o'-lanterns. Um, another piece. We've got an envelope We're using like some of the background papers that are in here. Here's one of the background papers that's uh, more of a collaged page. Here's like a coin envelope. Here's another journal page. Let's we get into the apothecary stuff here. Um, these are really interesting pages. I like these. These are, um, you could do a lot with those, I think. And here's another frame. I like these these different scenes. So those are cool. Some wit North, uh, um, some more witch characters. There's another frame. I like these frames a lot. Here's some different frames. And then we've got um, some tags and pockets. And these are pages that I printed out um, half size. Let's see, seen those. These are double printed pages. Here's this guy. I don't know what this guy is. <laughs> He's pretty creepy. I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's supposed to be a cat or a troll or I I, I don't know, but it's <laughs> it's creepy. And then um we've got scarecrows and bats. So um and then here's another background page with bats. So lots of options um to play around with with this kit and i'll show you my my prototype it's not ex i'm gonna make it a little different when we make it to it together but this is the prototype so um that I was just kind of playing around with so we've got this kind of um wooden bar opening here that was one of the uh fussy cuts that's uh was in the kit so I used that and there was a page of let me see if I can find it so this is the, the fuzzy cut that I used for the opening and there is a page of like pockets that I just used that page to create the, the base so this was a pocket piece and these two were like the uh, corner pockets so those open up there and then I used those little tickets to create these little tuck spots inside here. And I cut these tickets down so because I wanted them to fit inside here. Um, I didn't want them to, I mean, I didn't want them to go outside of the pocket area. So um, you can just tuck these in however you want to. And I just wanted to frame their faces there. And then you can tuck these into like this place, these little smaller areas like this. So you have a place to put these little um, embellishments. So that's basically, and so I also left this tab on the back of this pocket so that if you put it on a page, this is, and this is the reason I didn't want it to, to go over, over the top or, on, or under here, is that um, if I decide to put it on a page to flip up, that this wouldn't get in the way. So you can also put it on a page and flip it up. But I do have a, something I'm going to do specifically on the page with these. So let's get started on that. Okay, for the basic construction, 
Um, there is a page in the kit that has like these two pockets and these two corner pockets. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one of these larger pockets and both of the um, slanted corner pockets. So I'll give you the measurements of that. If you don't have the kit or you just wanna make it on your own, this is four, well, almost four and a half, I'd just say four and a half inches. Um, four and a half inches by three and a half inches, okay? So that's the, the size of this here. And you're gonna need, this is probably like half an inch um, of a tab here. I'm not using the centimeter side. Um, well, it's about five eighths of an inch. But um, I'd say give yourself at least half an inch. Well, really, you only really need a quarter of an inch. Um, if you don't want a flip, you don't need this bottom tab but you will need two side tabs on that rectangle that you're using to attach the opening, okay? So then you're going to need, see, I want these to flip out like this, but I wanna make sure that they are right side up, okay, when I flip them out. So they're gonna flip out like this. So um, what I'm going to do, so now they're right side up, flip them out like this. And so I'm gonna line up the top and the bottom here. So we're gonna cut off those extra pieces there, but we're just gonna um, use the top and bottom edges to align it so that it, it fits nice and neat. Okay. And then, so before we do that, we're going to fold these tabs in and this bottom tab under. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm probably just going to use my scoreboard to make it easier. feel like so <laughs> discombobulated like uh, like what am I doing I feel so disorganized it's hard to get back into your routine once you've been off of it for is that even you've been off of it for a few days when you're sick <laughs> it's not fun it's like really hard to get back into things but I'm not a person that likes to just sit around and do nothing I'm I have to I have to do I get too antsy and I always tell my kids you need to stay in bed and rest you're never going to get better. They finally figure that out, and then I'm not taking my own advice. So, I'm being a bad example, I think. <laughs> okay, so that is going to be if you want to flip down. Okay, um, we're going to use these to put on our doors here so I'm going to make sure that that I've got a little bit of white on the bottom of this so I'm going to cut off okay so I'm going to ink that I'm going to use this really um dark pine cone ink so I don't like using black much I'm just like it's too dark for me so um I'm just going to use this really dark brown actually it's coming out a little I mean it looks a little purplish to me you know, it's got a little bit of a purple tint to it, but that's okay because there's, um, there's like shades of purple in the kit. So I'm not worried about that. 
Okay, and then let's ink up these little doors. And I liked using the slanted pockets for the doors because, um, you know, it kind of gives that uh, fun house feel to it um, for like the Halloween themed creepy kind of um, slightly odd feeling. So I just liked that the effect of the slanted doors on the the other one we're doing the fall theme one it's just going to be um straight straight doors but i thought um slanted was more fitting for this theme okay so i'm going to put that on here okay so i'm gonna get my glue and like i came up with this idea a couple weeks ago so and i've just been too busy to to actually get it done so i might forget what i did at some points and have to re-examine it I ordered the like new glue uh, from Amazon and it's kind of dried out, which is frustrating me. Let's get it, the glue flowing. We need to get inspiration flowing. We need to get glue flowing. We need to get all the things flowing here. We go. All right. I feel like after being like sick, kind of lost my mojo a little bit, you know, just like <sighs> being sick is the pits. So I'm just going to cut that top part off. So I needed to get some fresh air and some fresh inspiration. So I went down to my hometown which was really nice and um, it's been really kind of built up over the years I mean it's not a big city um, but where I live now is is a small town so it seems like a big city <laughs> when I go back to it and um, it really isn't but um, it's funny because it's, they have so much more than we do here in the, um, I was driving it around. I'm like, wait, you have two Chick-fil-A's? <laughs> I mean, that's like luxury, right? And I'm like, we have to travel half an hour to get to a Chick-fil-A here. So I was like, wow, this is like living in the lap of luxury here to have two Chick-fil-A's like right down the street from each other. But the great thing about my hometown is even though there's like a lot of busy areas, um, there is still these very nice quiet places um, to just be still and um, enjoy, enjoy nature. Um, I've got um, some nice parks there. Um, there's a, um, they, once I got married and um, left the area, they built up a city center and right in in the middle of that is there's this big fountain that you can walk around like a like a not like you know a small concrete fountain it's like a huge big fountain area that you can take a walk around so it that has now become like one of my favorite spots um 
Is that how I want to do it? It's become one of my favorite spots there. And um, when I was there, I think I went there several times just to walk around it and enjoy it. And there was, I think my favorite time was I was sitting down by um, next to the fountain and I noticed a bird in the water and I was like, that does not look like a duck. It had the profile of a cormorant and I was like, is that really a cormorant? And so I walked over there and it totally was. And I was so excited. It was the only bird in the pond. Um, or not pond, but a uh, fountain. And I was so excited to just to see that because I love cormorants and they, um, and I got to see him, you know, it's so funny because they're so fast when they dive under the water, like they come up like 20 feet away. They're just really fast under the water, but I got to see him dive and catch a fish and that was really cool. So, um, I was pretty happy about that. And then he, he, um, I'll show you a picture. There was a center piece in the fountain and he sat, he sat on top of there and kind of spread his wings. I don't know if he was either drying off or cooling down, but he just looked so majestic. I was like, you are so majestic, little guy. You're my friend now. So I just sat and watched him for a while. Um, he was inspiring to me. Um, let's see. So I've got that now. And let's see what's the next thing I want to do. See, I'm trying to think of the order that I did this in. So I make sure want to make sure I do this. But I need to put this on something sturdier. So I'm going to use chipboard for this. I'm going to put this on chipboard and then cut this out. All right, I put this on chipboard and I kind of crumpled it a little bit to give it a dis more distressed look. And I started using the pine cone ink, but it just gave me too much red purple. So I switched over to walnut stain um, to make it look a little more distressed, a little dirtier. So, cause I want that to have that kind of look. Um, I think I'll like just add a little bit of, of that to the outside here. I wanted to have kind of a, a like a dirtier, grungier feel to it. Um, and I'm gonna add some, I think I'm gonna add some cheesecloth to the top of this. Uh, and then, so yeah. That's much better. So I'm gonna see if I can find some uh, cheesecloth before I add this on top. All right, I have some cheesecloth and I'm just gonna ink it up a little bit because I don't wanna go through the whole process of, of dyeing it. I just wanna do this quickly. Because I wanna just kind of give it a little creepier feel. And I just want to put that up here like this. So I just want to darken it up a little bit more. But yeah, the uh, it was like, it meant a lot to me to see that particular species of bird um, at the fountain. I didn't expect it and it's kind of a special bird to me. So that made me feel really happy. And it, when I was walking around the pond as well, it was, um, I was walking around and then I looked up and there was like a drone. Someone was flying a drone right over the top and right in the center of the fountain. I didn't see who it was that was, uh, flying the drone, but it was kind of cool just to look up and see that. Pretty neat. Uh, but 
just a beautiful area that I just really enjoyed it's, and it's a new favorite spot in my hometown now and um, there's a lot of other beautiful spots there but it um, a lot of I spend just a lot of time outside because I've been like cooped up inside the house a lot um, working and um, it's been hot you know for the summer so I just kind of stayed inside a lot of the summer and now that it's cooled down it feels really good to be outside and get some fresh air it's really nice to go walking lots of trails to go on um, so that was really just really refreshing to be able to do that of course I went to some thrift stores that's always fun I always try to check out like uh, the um, thrift stores and the antique shops um, when I go to different places and I did find there was this there was some beautiful jewelry that I found I was like oh this would be so cute on a junk journal and there was just one piece that I really wanted to pick up and I didn't pick it up when I should have and then I was gonna go pick it up the Monday I was leaving and they were closed so maybe that's it'll still be there next time I go down I don't know but see I shouldn't uh, procrastinate on that just pick it up just pick it up when I see it okay I want to put this down I'm trying to think of the best way to attach it I think I might just spread a little bit of Fabri-Tac down just a thin layer and I pretty but pretty much just kept to myself was there just to have quiet time next time I go I probably want to see uh, a girlfriend or two and I do want to take my kids down there to see I had taken I've taken them down there like when they were younger but they don't really remember that so now that they're older it'd be fun to take them and kind of show them where uh, some of mom's favorite places where she grew up you know I would have thought that was fun when I was a kid I liked seeing stuff like that I don't want this to be completely flat. Just kind of bunch it up a little bit. But it was certainly nice to have some quiet when you're just go, go, go all the time, sometimes you just need to take some time to slow down. Because <laughs> I can be a little ambitious and sometimes I just need to slow down Take a breath. <laughs> All the ideas will still be there. But yeah, we just need to. It was fun to take a, a little break, much needed break, and relax. And now I have to relax because I'm sick. <laughs> Doctor's orders. Let's see. I like that. I think that looks cool. I think I only want to put it on one side though, you know, just for some contrast. These scissors don't want to cut the cheesecloth. I don't know why. I 
Okay. So then we're gonna have it like this. I like that. Okay. Trim this up a little bit more. And I'm one of those people that like loves the rain. Um, so it was a little bit rainy while I was there. So I was really happy that I got to go walk in the rain. Might be another reason I got sick <laughs> now that I think about it. But um, I really, I just love the rain. It makes me happy. Okay. I'm thinking, do I want to add a little bit more? I think I kind of do. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. But my, uh, my last video on poetry, it got me thinking about writing poetry again. So, um, that's another thing I was, I was, uh, thinking about while I was out of town is, and trying to get some inspiration for that. And, um, just a good trip, a good trip. But then I had like, I was trying not to think of, of like work related stuff while I was there, but I can't help it. I love what I do. <laughs> you know, I had to go uh, to the thrift stores and look for stuff for junk journals and, and things like that. And I was like, I'm not supposed to be thinking of work, but you know, I love doing this. So I tried to minimize it, but I did, I did do a little, you know, work related stuff. Okay. I like that better. Um, but I did find a, in the thrift store, it's a, um, James Audubon book, Birds of America. I know it's been republished a few times. My, the copy I found was 1942 and it just, it's just beautiful page after page after page of, um, these, um, what do you call them? Portraits of birds? I'm not sure what you would call them, but they're paintings or illustrations of birds, um, by James Audubon. And they're just absolutely gorgeous. I just had to figure out what I want to do with them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this closure and we're going to need, I'm going to use the larger brads for these. I don't have a lot of the same color, so I might just use, well, do I have two of these? Let me see. I don't know if I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, there we go. So what I want to do is I'm going to add the brad to this side, but I'm going to also, I don't want it to be uh, this is already like a wonky thing. I don't want this to be. So this is what I did on the first one is it was, I had it like, like this, but those were not on the same level. So I wanted to, so I changed it to this. So what we're going to put it at the same level, but then we're going to cut a little notch in it so that it just hooks on there like that. So um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add it to this side. And I want to make sure I put that hole in the middle. And I want to make sure that I'm not coming off this side because I don't want this to catch when it's open. So I'm going to put this, make sure that that is not over the edge. Make sure I have it where I want it. And then we'll go right here. And then we're going to use 
whatever pokey tool you have. To poke through there. And usually, normally I would use a piece of foam to do this, but I don't know where it is at, the second, at this moment. So I'm just gonna do that. And then we're going to add our brad in. And we're gonna make sure that the little prongs are going vertically. Okay. I'm gonna press that down a little bit. Um, not too much, because we still want it to move. And then I want the other brad to be at the same height as this one, okay? That's where I need it to be. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like marking out like sixteenths and stuff, counting all that. My brain is too tired. My brain is just too tired for all that nonsense. All right. Here we go. We're going to put our brad in. and push the tongs down. Prongs, not tongs. See, my brain right now is so tired. All right. Then we're going to have to make a notch so that this fits over that brad. So I want I'm going to poke a hole where I want I think that is the middle. So I'm just gonna uh, poke a hole as a guide here so I know where I want to. So I have this little hole and that's where I want. I'm, I'm gonna put my notch. So I'm gonna make a little pie slice out of here up to that little hole that I punched. Okay, like that. And then we can just tuck that in there. How cute is that? Okay, so that's our closure. On the inside, we are going to cover up these. We can do that with some washi tape or some um, paper. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Um, and then we're going to add these little ticket things. And these are, let me see, about one and a half inches by three quarters of an inch if you just want to cut rectangles. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Um, let's see, which ones do I want to use? Maybe this one. This one I think is too orangey. It doesn't, it'll stand out too much from the other ones. So I'll use that. I'm gonna use six of these. Um, I'll use this one and that one. I'll kind of alternate the way they, these look here. Okay, so I'll use those. And I'm gonna take a second to ink all this and I'll be right back. Okay, so to put attach these, I have um, really really tiny brads, so you can see the difference. This is the regular brad that I used on the front, and then these are these. I think these are Tim Holtz, these really tiny ones. So that is what I'm using to attach these, um, and I'm just kind of gonna gonna eyeball it because. Um, Measuring would take a lot more time. And I'm just going to see. Did I put these all the way? Yeah, I put these all the way to the edge. So I'm going to just eyeball where I want them. 
about right there. And I'm just gonna use my pokey tool. Right there. And pop one of these little brads in there. Oh, nuts. All there is to that. And I'm probably gonna put some uh, washi on the back of these. And these aren't, unless you want them to, to move around, um, I'm gonna, just gonna kind of push them down pretty tightly. Cause I, you know, I don't really need them to move around. So I want them to stay pretty still there. I want it to be like a, a pretty good tight tuck spot for any ephemera that I'm going to put in there. So we're just going to add these in there. middle I put that one a little to the side too much but that's okay I'm not going for perfection One side. Let's do the same thing on the other. I'll speed that up. Okay, so now we have like these little tuck spots here. So what we want to cover up these pieces here. Um, this one. Yeah, this one I had the flip on the top. This one is on the bottom, so this one could could flip down. I don't think I'm gonna use it as a flip down though. Um, but let me do this first. Okay, so I have I do have this. Um, it's like anatomy uh, kind of stuff, and I didn't know what I was gonna use it for, but I think this really fits. Um, with the apothecary stuff and Halloween. So if I can get this open, <laughs> here we go. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. So we are going to place this here, but I don't want that much of it, right? kind of want half. So I'm going to just cut this like half an inch. Do it this way. Look on this side first. And I'm going to use glue um, just to reinforce it. All right, so I also went ahead and um, inked the back side here because I didn't want it to look like that grayish brown of cardboard. So that's to make that just a little more appealing. Okay, so we're just gonna fill this in here with some ephemera. And then I'll close that up. And I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this flap off because I'm not going to use it as a flap, but I do want to show you. Um, so I chose this page to attach this to it. So it looks like he's kind of holding this. Um, so what you could do, what I really want to do, but I don't know how to do it yet, is to do a pop-up. 
So if I kept this as a flip down, I could do some kind of pop up, like maybe like this pumpkin that would pop up, but I'm, I've got to kind of look, experiment and see how to do a pop up. And maybe I'll be able to do a tutorial on that later, but I thought if you know how to do a pop up, that would be a really cool idea to do that. Um, but I'm just going to keep it as a pocket, maybe belly band. I don't know. I'll just do the belly band. And if I want to change it to a pocket, I'll glue the bottom later, but we're just going to chop this off. Okay. So I'm just going to cut that off and then I'm going to glue this down here on these two sides. And then I'll show you something else that, um, I thought was kind of a cool idea. Actually, I think I'm going to do this before I glue this down. I'll glue this down last. Okay, so this scarecrow's eyes gave me an idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the eyes. Okay, so I've got the eyes cut out. Maybe just a little bit right there. I need to get off there. Um, so I got rid of all the black. And I thought it would be really neat to be able to put this as a journal card behind the eyes so that they are lit up. Now I decided not to do the nose and the mouth just because it doesn't quite match up um, when I do that. So um, I'm just doing the eyes. So I cut this out I had to kind of cut this guy out at an angle to match up the eyes, but it fits just about there. And let me see, eh, tilt it that way. Okay, so what I basically want to do is use this as a journal card, but create a pocket back here. Okay, so I have this card and I backed it with black so that when I use it as a pocket, he'll still have the black eyes when I take this card out. So let me see. I have it like, I think that is okay. I mean, I might have to adjust this here because I kind of want it taking forever with this. Okay, I kind of want it like that. Okay, that's how I want it. So I'm gonna hold it here. Let me clip it. Okay, so that's where I want that. And so this pocket is gonna go, this comes down pretty far. So I need to put this down here. So I'm just going to add it to the back here according to where I need the jack-o'-lantern. So it's going to be, let me go ahead and put the glue on here. And I'm thinking I should have inked this <laughs> before before I glued it down, but I already got the glue on it, so we're gonna go with it. Just gonna go with it. Okay, so I need to make sure that this is plenty of room down here. And on the sides. Okay. I think that is even. Glue that down. So I have a pocket here. Okay. So now when I take this card out, it will still have the black eyes, but when I put the journal card in, it will light up the jack-o'-lantern, the scarecrow, um, the scarecrow's head. So, um, I just thought that was really cute. 
but I'm gonna um, back this as well I think with black so it's not that stark white color and then then we'll glue this on here okay so let me go ahead and get find some black and back that and then I'll glue this on and that one will be done and we can go on to the fall themed one be right back okay so I backed this one not with black but I put more bats from some scrap that I had so we can tuck that right in there to give a nice little journal card and then we've got our jack-o-lantern scarecrow dude and then I'm going to lock this and glue the sides. And see what we can do. Oh, strawberry. No, that's not strawberry. Um, our cat Electric's having a sneezing fit over there. Sorry about that has a little kitty cold. Okay. I'm gonna put that right here so it looks like he's holding it. I think that's a little crooked there. Let's move that. So there we go, that's our, that would be our little page there. Open this up and then we have our stuff inside here and make sure like when you open this, like if you do this, it's not going to open, right? So just like keep it like that when you open it and then let's see what we can tuck in here. Um, I have some ephemera here. I can find something I cut out. I think these might be too big. They might cover up, cover up my scarecrow. I mean, you could do that, but why would you want to cover them up? I've got this one. See, that'll work. You can tuck that in there. Um, add some embellishment or something to it so it looks a little cuter. You know, I was thinking it would be cute um, if this, like, if you just had like a little, well, it would work with a belly band too. Like, um, I think it's called raffia. You know that uh, stuff that almost looks, the craft stuff that looks like hay? I think that would be fun to stick in there. Or even just use it as like a, a topper for something like this and stick in there. So I think that would be fun too, but I don't happen to have any. Um, and then we've got our journal card here. So that's my, um, Halloween one. And this, this is a really fun kit to work with. And again, I'll put the link to it in the description. It's the witchy apothecary. I can never remember the name of it. It's like Halloween witchy apothecary something, <laughs> something like that. Um, but it'll be in the description box below. Um, let's go on to the fall themed one. Let me pull that stuff out here. See, I told you I'm disorganized. <laughs> I'm disorganized right now. Okay. All right. So I'm, this is a sheet that has a pocket on it and a couple journal cards. I'm going to use this pocket. Now, again, if you don't have the kits, all you need to do is cut a rectangle with um, an extra half inch on the sides for the flaps. That's really all you need to do. And then for the doors, you're just going to cut the same size rectangle here and cut it in half. It's, it's that simple, but these kits are really fun to work with. So this one will also be in the description box. I think it's called, let, let me just check. This one is called, I love fall most of all. Okay, these are both by the ha Happy Handicrafter. So I'm going to use, I love fall most of all right now. And we're going to cut out this pocket. And it already has like a little notch. If 
you're putting it on your page as a pocket, so that's nice. And I did um, back these all with the um, the background sheets. Dude, it's just, this is like the claw sheet, and it's really pretty. I really like that one. And I think, yeah, we're going to do it this way. Fold this one back. Okay. So now I thought it would be cute. So these are actually like full page. These are like full pa journal pages, but I printed them in a four by six size. So I, because I thought they, they have these um, kind of ribbons down the front and I thought that would be nice for, for the door opening to go right in the middle like that. So um, I just printed them smaller so that they, the, that middle part wouldn't be overwhelming. So this rectangle is five and an eighth by three and a quarter. So that's what I need to do with this. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down the middle now so it can be my doors. There we go. And this is going to just attach here and here, okay? So then we have, then we'll have our doors, okay? So. At this sheet in the kit and there was like this little tab here and this little uh, label so I just stuck them together I thought it looked cute so I think that makes it look really cute and um, I think more like the vintage like a little vintage kind of feel to it so that's what I want to use okay pokey tool I need it. Okay, stick that in there. You know what? Before I put this on, I'm gonna I'm gonna ink that. Should have done that like before I put it on with the other one. Scrap. I'll just put it on here. That's good enough. do it this way. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. I'm going to make a mark by just pushing through like that. I should have, yeah, I have a mark now. That's where I want my brad. If I can, okay, there it is. <laughs> Almost lost it. Oh, man. Okay. Got it. So now I want this to come down and hook here. 
So I'm going to do, just gonna cut a pie slice out of here. There we go, cute. Okay, so now we gotta fix the inside here. And I need to do something about covering up this. Maybe we'll put little pockets in as we do. We gotta put the little triangles in, or not triangles, rectangles in. Look, I was a little bit organized. Okay, so we're gonna pick some of these um, to put in here. Right, we need some washi or something to cover this so I'm gonna figure that out and we're going to put like some pocket a pocket here so that we cover up this actually I think I'm gonna just cover up this whole side here let me see let me find something I like <laughs> Maybe this. Let's do that because I think that'll work a lot better. Okay, let's see. Beautiful. Now we can add some little things here. Maybe I add a tag. I want to see the pumpkins and let's see yeah that in there let me see some other stuff I have let's see actually I'm gonna tuck this behind here This one under here and let's see. I'll do this one. Actually, what if I did no, I don't want to do that. Okay, I've got those in there. Do we need pockets? Do we need pockets? Let's see. I don't want to mess, I think, I think that's pretty. I don't want to mess with that. Let me see. I could do a little pocket like that, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Cute little pocket there. Put a cute little pocket here. There we go. How cute. I like that. Okay. What can we stick in there? I don't know what I have cut out. Oh, because I don't see. I shorten these. You know what? I don't have much cut out of that, so I'm just gonna stick these in there. Just cause I can. Oh, I can put this. Oh, that's cute. Let's do that. I keep thinking of things I wanna just add to it. 
and I should be like, all right, we're done. <sighs> okay, we're gonna put this one here. And we'll put this one here. Actually, I think it goes this way. And let's see. I don't know what I want to put in here. Um, maybe we don't have to put it in there. Maybe I'll just cut these down. With a little tag. Put a little tag in there. Cute. Let me find another one. Let's do this one. Oh, okay. Now I got a little funky. In. So I just cut the tags down to fit in there. Okay, and there we go. Close that up. Close our little door here. Look at that, how cute. And then you can either do, um, you can cover those with washi. You can do the flip down or the pocket. So we have those. So that's all there is to it. Really simple, uh, hardest part is probably the closure, but still pretty easy. Okay, where did I put it? <laughs> okay, so we have our creepy scarecrow with a cool extra little bonus journal card here, behind here, and we have our um, I Love Fall Best of All with little pockets here. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And sorry it was so late um, with the... Uh, my being ill and then going out of town and be ill and then I had a toothache I had to have a I have to have a root canal now so <laughs> it's just been crazy one thing after another so sorry this was late hope you enjoyed it and hope um that you'll be able <clears throat> that you'll have some fun with it go check out these kits um at the happy handy crafter and um let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you again this coming week because we have a great big collaboration coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun and um, I'm coming up soon. So my collaboration will be this coming week. My collaboration video will be this coming week. So watch out for that. It's going to be really exciting. So I will see you again very soon. Have a great day, guys.